Okay, in this program, I'm going to write, um, I'm going to use a timer with a message dialog. So I'm going to pop up a message every two seconds displaying uh, smoking is dangerous or something like that. So I need to add a timer. I'm going to look at the interval. I want it to go off every two seconds. So I'm going to change the interval to 2000. And every time when this timer goes off, which will be every two seconds, I want to display a message. And it must be a message dialog. So I'm going to say message DLG. Message DLG. Let's say something like don't smoke. A message type. Let's make it information. The buttons that I'm going to add, I'm only going to add the message button. Okay. Remember, MT is for message type, MB for message button. And because you can have more than one button, the button should be in square brackets. And then the last parameter will be a zero. Okay, so the message will be don't smoke. The message type will be information. The message buttons will be OK. And the user will only be able to click on the OK button. And then the message will close. And this message will pop up every two seconds because I set the interval to 2000. Don't smoke. So if you are a little bit slow with the closing or clicking on the OK, it might spam you a little bit with the don't smoke. Okay, so now I'm going to edit this program a little bit because I want it to stop displaying that message after let's say 60 seconds so I now I need to create a little timer in my program or a little counter I'm going to say I count is equals or I count is the data type will be integer And when the form is created, when the form is created, I'm going to set I count to zero. So I'm going to give it a starting value. And every time when this message is displayed, or every time when this timer goes off, I want to increase I count by one. So I'm going to say I count plus one. Okay, so now it's going to count me. Every time the timer goes off, it's going to say one, two, three, four, and it will count in the background. And I want to stop it after 60 seconds. This timer goes off every two seconds. So if I want this thing to stop after 60 seconds, I will have to test where the I count is 30. And if it's 30, I need to disable my timer. So I'm going to say if I count is equals to 30, not 60, but 30, because it goes off every two seconds. So I need to set it to 30. If it's equals to 30, then I want to disable my timer. So timer one the property will be enabled equals false. Timer one dot enabled is equals to false. And this should disable your timer after 30 seconds. If you want to start your timer again, you can add something like a button. That will reset or start your timer from scratch again so when you click on the start button you want to set i count back to zero 
and you want to enable your timer again able it will be true okay so when the timer goes off the timer goes off every two seconds because the interval is set to 2000 it's going to display this message don't smoke it's going to add one to eye count test where the eye count is 30 if it's 30 it will stop else it will just continue and the time will go off again it will display the message and keep on counting until it reaches the value of 30. if you reach the value of 30 you uh, it will disable your timer timer.enabled false and then it will only start again running this timer when you click on the start button click on the start button it will enable your timer again it will also reset your counter back to zero and it will start counting all the way to 30 and then it will stop again let's test it test it quickly here all right so it's gonna pop up like 30 times also keep track of the time that elapsed during this whole program by using a timer then you can do something like a mathematical or a game situation and uh, you need to solve a riddle and then you can time the user how long it took him to solve that problem it should pop up 30 before it will stop okay so now it reaches 30 and the timer stops and when I click on start again it will start the whole process over again but I'm not gonna wait for that one I'm gonna just stop my program Okay, and that's how you can use a timer with a message dialog to pop up a message that says don't smoke every two seconds.